Hi everyone. Thank you for being here. Hello. Uh, for those who are new, um, my name is Viviani and I'm here with Linda and Diana. For those who are new, um, my name is Viviani and I'm here with Whoops. Linda. And, uh, sorry about that, there's a little echo there. And uh, thank you all for being here. Hope you all uh, had a nice day. Um, and still our queen okay all right sorry about that um anyway um i hope you all had a nice day thank you all for being here and uh thank you thank you thank you to all subscribers i'm so happy to to um have accomplished my goal with, with 200, 200 subscribers i'm so happy about that i'm, I'm really grateful and uh I will post on the community page uh, a date and time for the drawing of uh, uh, one free reading with me. So, um, and then, you know, I'll go live and have, you know, everyone in a chat that can um, uh, enter the, the giveaway. So it will be one free reading. And thank you again for, and thank you for uh, Scott and, and Jackie. They, uh, they helped a lot. To, uh encouraging everyone to to uh, subscribe and please subscribe to diana's channel and to linda's channel um and again i'll post um the date and time most likely friday or saturday i think if i do it on a weekend gives uh, enough notice for everybody to show up and and be because you have to be you have to be in the chat to enter the uh the giveaway so um Let's say hi to everybody here. Let's see what we have, and I'll be uh, selecting questions. Hi, Marta Bean. Hi, Harley. Hi, Melody Lamon. Hi, Harley. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Nivra. Yeah, hi, Jackie. Hi, Nivra. Hi, uh, Lottie B. White Dragon. Yeah. Hi, hi White Dragon. Dragon. Nice having you. I did listen to that song today, White Dragon. <laughs> uh, we got a read of Franklin's song. It was a really fun song. I actually listened to it again today. What song? <laughs> There's Carl and Flower Beauty Peacock Rainbow and Stephanie and Bora Bora. Hi. And Lady Silver. Hi. Yeah. Hi, everyone. The song is Rock Ste Rock Steady by Aretha Franklin. It's really a fun, uh, fun song. Oh, read the Franklin. Girl. Today. <laughs> Detroit Girl. Yes. Hi, Lady Silver. Hi, Rossi. Hi, Joyful Journey. Hi, Bora Bora, if I didn't say hi yet. So, so nice to see everyone. Hi, Jackie. And please do subscribe to Jackie's channel, too. She's um, she's a great reader, too. And uh, had a Did chance she start to a channel? Yeah. <laughs> she does have a channel. She uh, has 100 subscribers now, so let's help her... Uh, I should post. Let me post our channel. Yes, you're talking about me <laughs> or Jackie. No, or no, we're talking about channel, Jack or Jackie. Okay. Yeah. Hi, we're Lisa. Back. So let me see how many questions I have here so far. Really? Hi, Lisa. Oh, there's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Maria re is receiving abundance. What a great name. Hi, imagine with uh, with me, Chamonix Journeys. Hi, Addie. Hi, Imelda. Okay, I got your question. Leah has a question too at, uh, at 03. Mm hmm. 503. Go lay down. Go. Come. Gloria, go lay down. There's Ross. <laughs> I'm trying to find her question. Oh, and there's a question from White Dragon for Diana. Okay, and I found Leah's question too. Okay, okay so there's two questions, both at 04. Two, you. Well, 504 for you. And Addie has a question also at 04. Mm -hmm. And so does Stephanie also at 04. Nice. And 54. I don't remember seeing you. Uh, thank you for being here. 
Thank you, Jackie. Because I'm having a drawing when I hit 250. <laughs> yes. And I'm at 212 now. So, uh, yes. So we're I'm going to give away a free full one hour uh, reading to mm -hmm. um, some lucky viewer mm -hmm. <laughs> once after I hit 250. And I'll post in my, my ring will be also one hour and uh, most likely I'll do the drawing on Saturday. So give it enough time for people to see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I see another question from Imagine. Okay. Um, Charles has a question too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So far I have 10 questions here. Okay. Maybe we have a couple more. Uh, all right. Maria is receiving abundance. I believe you meet you met your cat, Bubba. Her uh, cat. But I got your question. So yeah, eleven questions. I guess let's I'm gonna get one more. Okay, Diana. Diana, Leah wants to know what kind of pups you have. What kind of what? Dogs. I have a cockapoo and a the cockapoo is a poodle spaniel mix, which has become a breed of its own. And so is the Chug. He's a Chihuahua and Pug mix that has also become a breed. Okay. I'll quickly see all the questions, say all the questions I have here. We're going to answer them as we can, but I have Lottie B. I have Imelda, Leah, White Dragon, Mars 54, Addie, Nivra, Lady Silver, Imagine with Me, Shamanic Journeys, uh, Carl, Maria is Receiving Abundance, and Sonia. So 12 questions. So um, that's probably what we're going to be able to answer, but let's see uh, how we how we do. Um, and so me... questions are closed? Uh, I think so, because we got 12. So if we can squeeze a couple in later, you know, see how we do for time. OK. Uh, I, okay. So I believe we can, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll pause the questions for now. And then if we have uh, time, yeah. we can add another well, one. Mary, because Mary Thornberry just posted a question, and uh, Mirella, oh, okay, I'll, 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 uh, oh, darling. <laughs> let me see. I'll go ahead and uh, it's Mary Thornberry's questions at uh, okay. okay, so I'll close this for now. Hi, Mirella. Okay, I'll close question is okay, yeah. So anybody who asks questions now, uh, we're not going to uh, uh, we're not going to answer them until we finish the ones that we already have. And I'm sorry about Wanda screaming. She would be here with me, except that she's feeling somewhat. I don't know, independent, feisty. She's uh, being a little stubborn today, I guess. She's yeah, like, I'm good. I'm good. I've got an <laughs> <up> hangover. She's <laughs> feeling uncooperative, like and, and and the almond treats just aren't doing it for her. Yeah, um, see, see. All right, ladies. So let me go ahead and read the prayer of protection for us. So, okay. Deep breaths. We are surrounded by the pure white light of divine source. We ask Archangel Michael to protect and guide us. And we call forth all of our angels, guides, beings of light, and Akasha Records Masters to assist us now to receive information of the highest truth, highest frequency of light and love, allowing us to receive exactly what we need for our greatest, greatest good and the greatest good of humanity. And so it is. Thank you. I'm going to read the key now. We open ourselves to the light, and with this light, we open ourselves to our truth, and with this light, we open ourselves to our soul's purpose, and with this light, we open ourselves to be guided towards our highest good and the highest good of all in divine love. And so, this group, including animals and those uh, watching the replay, are giving the truth to best serve them on their healing journey into the love and acceptance that is most beneficial for them in this moment. 
And I'm going to read this silently. And with this light and guidance, we unlock the energy field of this group, including animals and those watching the replay, to receive the record of their soul. The records are now open. So, I think. Let me see the questions. I, I just want to mention that uh, um, mm -hmm. at the end of this, we're going to do a clearing. Yes. A healing and a clearing. So stick around for that because that's a really valuable part of this whole process it's it's about readings but it's not just about readings it's about clearing and healing your souls thank you Linda. thank you so much that's very important yes please do stick around and look at that sweetie oh that's, so wow, cute. that's grizzly He's Aww, so cute what a face. And it gets whiter every day. Yeah. <laughs> As I can relate to that. Oh yeah. <laughs> he'll be um he'll be nine already uh in on June thirteenth. Wanda turned twenty on April fourth. Ah. Happy birthday, Aries Wanda. That explains a lot. It does, doesn't it? Where'd my earring go? It's probably stuck to the pillow I was snoring on <laughs> after digging in the dirt for a couple hours. Uh, would you like to answer the first question, Linda? Because I, I, I spoke for a while. I'll, I'll you know, start going around. Sure, around. if you want. Sure. Uh, okay, Linda. Uh, Who do you want me to? How about, do you like to do this one? I, I don't remember reading this one, one of the two. Okay, it's from Imelda. Okay. Um, was that you, Diana? Would you like to take that? I think that was Diana. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. Two lived in servitude. Three during the potato famine. What else, please? Okay. Hi, Imelda. Thank you. Yes. Let's see. Let's Um, well, this time around, I'm being shown a life in the court of one of the Italian Catherines. This is not a Russian court. They're speaking Italian. <clears throat> I'm... I'm showing you wearing a fancy gown. You're more, you're not just a lady in waiting. You are a duchess. You are bedecked in jewels. I, the gown that they're showing me is a very rich um, tomato red, you know, like my mother, the designer would call it Chinese red. And the jewels are shown onto the dress in a diamond shape. So there's one in each of the corners of the diamond shape. Like it, it, it's a heavy, like it must be a winter type dress because it's very thick. It's quilted. And you're in your own boudoir putting on oils, perfume, Handmaids are nearby to assist you, and they're putting 
the final headgear onto you. Now this looks to be early 1700s, late 1600s. Yeah, so we're finally broken away from the servitude. <laughs> And see you as a duchess. That's that's great. End of the transmission. Thank you, Diana. Now I'll go yeah. back to you, Linda. Thank you, Imelda. Okay, Linda, would you like to take Lottie B? Um, then I'll go. Ah, your first life on Earth. Hi, Lottie B. I'm not sure if you'll be able to get that answer, but if not, just give her a message then because the yeah. the, uh, the masters may not give you exactly like your first. Um, um, but we can only we can only try we can only um, transmit what the masters send us. So first life on earth. I mean, um, if they think it's not relevant, I, I you know yeah um, so yeah you know, like if. If they think it's irrelevant, or if they think that that it's, uh, if they just don't don't want to share that information, there's not a lot I can do. But yeah. I will ask. I will ask Lottie. Okay. If, if not, they can they can uh, give her a message. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's, she's okay with that. She's she's happy. She's happy with anything that okay. is relevant. Okay. Uh, thank you, Lottie. Thank, thank you, Lottie, and thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm. So the first life I'm being shown, I think, I think these are really, uh, I don't think these are Homo sapiens sapiens. I think these are Homo neanderthalensis. I believe it's the correct term. Um, um, because um, because they had souls too. Mm -hmm. And so did the Denisovans or Denisovans. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I've only ever seen it in print. Um, and um, it's um, It's, it's a hard, well, as you can imagine, because these people were, were using stone and flint tools. This is not an easy life. They're hunter-gatherers. Um, but, you know, for all of that, it's a good life. There's, there's, there's a, a genuine, genuine love and caring. And there's, there's a... Well, anyway, it's not interesting because uh, you're living in a place that's by the seashore, so you have all of the you have the fish and the and the crabs and the clams and all of the riches of the ocean. So you guys never go hungry. Um, and there's uh, there's berries and fruit in the trees on this hillside above you, and um deer and um deer and and bear and so you eat very very well and and you live in a cave that's it's a moderate temp it's like a um a mild climate so you're not living uh, on a glacier or anything um it's a busy but uh and and a and a you know to to our way of thinking it's a difficult life but it's a really good life too um you're in this life you're a woman
you're living in in the cave you're there with your man and two small children and you're pregnant at the time that i'm looking at this you're pregnant and um uh and somebody's parents there's an older man and an older woman <laughs> And two other people that I don't know what the relationship is, but I don't know. Neanderthal, Lottie, how about that? Hmm. Nice. Thank you, thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you, Lottie. Um, okay, let me see. Now I'm going to answer this one, and then we do the regular again. I'll switch around. Hi, Leah. Uh, Leah, like. Uh, a message, I guess, from the records. Let's see what they have for you, Leah, today. So far, I'm seeing colors. I'm just waiting for more. They're showing me uh, you walking outside during the day. On the grass. And now you're starting to run just like in a playful manner. And they're telling me uh, bring to uh, for you to bring more joy into your life. I think that's what they're showing this. Uh, you're just having fun outside and just you know, just like really like in a, in a childlike manner, just running and enjoying the the breeze and. And they're saying be the connect with nature to um, you also help. I know you're a creative person, so they're saying connect with nature because that will also help you um, increase your your creativity, or the flow of your creativity. And now the the same scene where you are outside, I see music notes flowing as if they were like bubbles. Um, And now they're saying you are here to uh, spread joy. You're a creative person and you are here to spread joy. So uh, uh, Leah, this is what I, 
this is what I got for you, Leah. I hope you enjoyed the message. Thank you for your question. Uh, let's see who else is here. Okay, look for Linda now. Okay. Uh, Pierrette is here and Heather Indigo Jaguar and Jeff yeah. Tarot Ask Backwards. And Hello. Hi, Jack. Jeff. Heather, everybody. Yeah. Um, Cheryl has a question, but Cheryl, uh, questions are closed right now. I'm so sorry. Um, um, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken over. I'm sorry. No, go, um, okay. Now it's for Linda. Uh, a question from Sonia. I think this. Is... If you were ever at Avalon or around there. Oh, that's an interesting question. Okay. Um, oh, and also, um, Viviani, Carl wanted to change his question. So he's got another one at 226. So you can unstar the first one and star that one or however, however you want to do it. All right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Hey, Dakota, Dakota Kelt. Um, Sonia, hmm, an Avalon. Well, the first thing that the masters are saying is that Avalon, as we think of Avalon, didn't exist. Um, not the way, not not in the way that people think of it today. Um, there was a settlement, uh, a community, where there were many druids and 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 um, and kings leaders okay actually they're they're basically war chiefs as we would think of it today warlords but um history books have called them kings and so we just continued with that um would come and consult with them and uh ask for their advice but um there was no castle there was uh lots of you know sort of shabby little mud huts i guess um some were nicer than others because because the Avalon the Avalon that we think of is actually a renaissance okay and this so this is coming from the, from the masters the Avalon that you have in your mind is a renaissance fantasy and never existed the Avalon that did exist is a dark ages community from about 500 AD or so. And, and so there were no stone buildings. There were no, um, none of that existed. Um, this was a Druid, a community of mainly Druids, um, uh, but there were other people there too. Um, and they provided healing, uh, their, their healing and, uh, prophecy and um, uh, answered questions that people came to them with. So the lots of lots of lots of um, the British um, tribes, like the British tribes at the time, or tribes. They weren't really tribes. They were, I don't know, uh, communities, uh, unions. Anyway. They would ask them questions. I'm, I'm looking for you. This was just a sort of background history on Avalon. And I'm looking for you, Sonia. And it looks like you're a Jewish wife. Which would, I guess would make you a Druid too, but not in the not in the um not in the sense that um like you um 
Yeah. You didn't do the services that the Druids did, but you, you know, worshipped in the oak groves and did did all that kind of stuff. But you did do healing. You were an excellent healer. I see three or four little kids, um, like under the age of 10. And they're having the time of their lives because they're just running the running through the fields. And, and uh, I mean, they have to work hard too, but there's lots of time for play for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's where you were, Sonia, is not Avalon like this wonderful castle that everybody thinks, which was a, a total fantasy that was set in run in the Renaissance times. But yeah, you were there in um yeah. Okay, that's, that's that's what I got for you, Sonia. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Diana, I do have a question for you from White Dragon. Hi, White Dragon, thank you so much for being here. What is the name I use while gallivanting, beating up on the Drax? <laughs> it is ba 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 ban and the Jets. <laughs> That's what they're showing me. <laughs> Elton John. <laughs> That's a fun song. Yeah. So... If they're not calling you Benny, they're calling you Bubba Bu or Bubba or Boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boss. But Benny and the Jets is what I'm getting. So I, nice. Makes sense to you. <laughs> I, I see you out there zipping. I mean, just gallivanting around, having fun. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you so much. Uh, now it's, it'll be even more fun to listen to the song now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, I answered Leah. I love that. <laughs> okay, Nivra. I'm going to answer that. Can I get a message from my guides? Of the masters for the rest of April. I, I guess you know, I'll, I'll ask for a message. Um, there's, uh, they're not going to be showing when what what's going to happen in 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 April because there's no there's no predicting from from the masters. So it would be, um, is that okay? Is, where's Nivra's Nivra? Uh, let's see, where's Nivra? Yeah, so I guess a general message from the masters. Um, okay. Um, they're bringing up something that you've been practicing and that they're really happy about and then just um, saying that um, to continue to practice because you are making changes to whatever you're doing as, as you continue to practice. Um, you, you're going to have your, I guess, your unique way of 
doing or teaching while you while you've been practicing And I see writing now. I see um, uh, someone um, handwriting something. Taking notes. Seeing, take notes about your process, your methods, and organize your ideas. Now I see you signing something, signing that same paper. And you were, uh, you you have like a folder. You close the folder, and then you just clear the space, clear the the desk, clear the space. Now I'm getting organized, um, work on your project to finish your project and start something new. So that's why I saw you doing that motion to uh, move everything aside. Um, after you sign it, you close it, you move it aside and then you have room to start something new. I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that helps and uh, I hope that it makes sense for you. We'll see if my is here. And thank you for your question, Ivra. And let me see who else I have here. Um, there was a uh, flower, uh, flower beauty, peacock rainbow, rainbow. Pe I'm sorry, you know who I mean. She yeah. wanted, wanted to know if she was on the list. And I looked, but she wasn't. But I wanted to check with you in case you had. Yeah, I did not know she was not because we have 10 questions at the moment. Um, yeah. Okay. So okay. I'm sorry, Flower. I don't have you here. Um, she wanted to go to sleep because she said it's late where she is. So go to sleep, Flower Beauty. Mwah, sweet. Yeah. Beauty. Thank you for yeah. being here. Rest well. And uh, thank you for being here. I'll see you soon in the chat world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll um, see each other in the chat world for sure. Okay, it's 3 a.m. where she is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Yeah, so go to sleep. Sleep well. <laughs> 12 hours. Where they? Is she, no, it's not she's, Australia. I think she's in India. Oh, in India. I think in oh. India. Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. Okay. Um, for Linda now, um, Mars 54, and I believe you're new here, and uh, thank you for being here, and welcome. Hi, Mars. What can the records tell me about my journey with intimate partnering? I'm not. Oh, um, now that's an interesting uh, spiritual development kind of question. Personally. I'm not sure um, how you, I mean, is are you here? Um, uh, I, I, okay, so I'll, I'll tell you. Um, Oh, and White Dragon answered answered you, Diana, or responded to you, I should say, not answer, because it wasn't a question. Hmm. Who did what? Uh, at 2.39, I believe it was. Let me just go back and take a look. Or sorry, I guess for you it's 5.39. Uh, yeah, um, he says, I think it's oh. Baba or Wise Old Man. 
Ah, ba ba yeah. yeah, Baba ba, Benny and the ba, ba, ba. Yeah. But so I if you're presenting as an 18 year old and we're about the same age. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I would have been about 22 when that song came out, maybe. <laughs> okay. So Mars is here. Okay. And, and they want to know about their journey with intimate partnering. That's a really interesting question, and I hope I'm interpreting it correctly. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I understand the question. Uh, if you want to clarify with... Um... Well, Mars, <laughs> uh, to, me, that, to me, you want, I, that, that it's like you want to know um, if you're progressing in your choices of intimate partners, in your relationships, in okay. how, how, you, how you respond, how you develop them, um, uh, okay. you know all of that all of that kind of stuff like how you're growing in your ability to deal with intimate partnerships is that correct cuz uh, cuz you got like 10 seconds to answer ah what are the lessons at work am i progressing well i was close okay all right Yes, you are learning. You need to balance compassion for yourself as much as compassion for the other. To think of yourself as being as important as the other in your relationships. Not through being selfish and saying, I want, I want. But through discovering what you need, like respect. You need to, you need empathy, you need compassion, you need respect. Mm -hmm. These are all things that you seem to give out freely. This is almost a channeling, you guys. This is weird. Hmm. How interesting uh, for me. I mean, as a reader, you need to, you need to be sure that you are receiving as much as you are giving, that there is an even balance. At times it will be uneven because people become ill, people become busy. But overall, is it an even distribution? You don't look after yourself well enough. You don't put yourself high enough in your list of priorities. It's important that you feel fulfilled. It's important that you feel safe. Oh, and safe is in great big letters. It's important that you feel safe, that you feel that you feel uh, um, secure and solid and grounded. You are making a great, they're very happy with the progress you're making. And, oh, and they send you so much love. Oh, they send you so much love. And encouragement and support. Your feet are on the right path. Follow your heart. Listen to your heart. <clears throat> and it's okay to say no. There you are. That was a good message. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Um, um, Mirella asked me to mention who I have here. I have Eddie, Lady Silver. Uh, imagine with me shamanic journeys. Marie is receiving abundance. Mary Fornberry, Carl, Lisa, they're coming up. But remember that we do have a, a clearing and, and healing at the end. Yeah. So do stick around because that's that's uh, really uh, it's an important part of the whole process. It's not just about the readings. It's about the it's mm -hmm. about the uh, it's about the healing and the clearing that that of the stuff that the readings rise in or raise in each of us because 
the reading the readings are like okay so lottie asks a question mars asks a question but there's stuff being unlocked in other people too you know there's stuff yeah. being and, uh, clear the stagnant energy and uh, yeah. all that so please do stick around for that uh let's see now for uh Let's see. Mars says, yeah, the no's are coming along. <laughs> Good. Step one. You're welcome, Mars. It was my pleasure. And now for uh, Diana. I have a question here from Lady Silver. And look at the cute cat on the picture. <laughs> aw. That's cute. The kitty, aw. <laughs> I'm a sucker for kitties and puppies. Mm -hmm. I think you're, you're on mute. Oh, okay, you didn't start yet. Okay, so that's for uh, Diana. Hi, Lady Silver. My step-grandfather and I were very close. Can you tell me about a lifetime we shared? All right, let me see. Hmm. I'm... I was just shown throwing pebbles into a lake and watching the ripples spread out. This is fishing. This is a You were his son? His son? No, you're just dressed like a boy. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and now they're showing me, um, oh, they're busy on in movies today. Shirley Temple in Captain January. So you're, you have a, your income is in the fishing industry. And I'm having a hard time figuring out exactly where you are in New England area. You, you, Throw down some crab traps too, but mostly you're after, um, well, you're after whatever comes in the net. Salmon and bass, coho, kokanees. I'm seeing a big salmon with a big hook nose, like, you know, this. they're running, it's time to go get. Yeah, so you had a past life together where you're you were his daughter but you worked with him on the boats i hope that helps i hope that makes sense to you in some way in fact what about today do you, when is he still with us no you say we were very close okay so He's on the other side now, but when you were younger, did you guys go fishing? Is that something you could have been repeating from a past lifetime? Okay, thank you, Diana. I wasn't sure if you're if you're yeah. Well, I was kind of waiting for something more to come in, but that's kind of where they stopped. What they showed me from Captain January, Shirley Temple, he's telling her to get going for the day or something, and she's doing her thing and she dips her fingers in in a bowl of water and wash her face for the day. <laughs> and that's what they showed me, but they were living on a tugboat. Okay, let's see. Um, 
Hi, Mary. There's somebody really special here in the, in the chat. And I just posted a channel here. Hi, Mary from Earth and Star Spiritual Wellness Center. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, please do. It's an amazing channel. And Mary's amazing. Um, and she has a website called The Rustic Raven. And she does amazing healings. And... Uh, Check it out. I'll post that, that channel later. So I'm all nervous now because Mary's here. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. I appreciate you. Uh, let's see who I'm going to get now. Let me see. Okay, Maria is receiving abundance. She wants to know if she shares a, a lifetime with her cat, Bubba. And you know, I love animals. So I'll check that one. Yes, you, you did uh, share past lives, but it's like I'm getting that you, he was a the, one of uh, we had him as a dog before. Let's see what else. Check. Yeah, got that again. Bubba was her dog in a past life. <laughs> and they're showing me they're saying there was a male dog in a previous life they're showing me like um a mid-sized dog with black fur let me not see take a look i'll say goodbye And now they're showing me a white cat, a small white cat. So that meaning that he was also with you before as a cat. So I, I hope that answers your question well. And I, I hope that helped you. Um, Marie is receiving abundance. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Let's see what else I have now. Okay, for Linda. Hi, Imagine With Me, Shamanic Journeys. Sounds like an interesting thing to do is a shamanic journey with you. What can the records tell me about my deep interest in angels? Mm. 
You've been aware of the angels around you since you were a little kid. And, and you have a, a natural kind of um, communication channel, I guess, with angels. Um, with those angels that are around you. you I, there's like three or four of them. I don't know. Were you like really accident prone as a kid and they had a lot of work they had to share around? Um uh, they're not all, there's only one guardian angel that's there from birth, but you apparently had, had more than one as you were growing up. Um, your previous lifetimes, I think that that, ah, I think that that's a soul, a soul quality that you have. You know how like some people are artists and musicians and writers and stuff through many lifetimes because that's part of their soul, the, the creativity. I, I think that, that that's part of what I'm getting is that this is something that's been with you from pretty much from the beginning of your existence as a soul is this ability to, um, to be really close to angels and communicate with them. Um. Like more, more so even, well, maybe not more so than your guides, but um, the same kind of level of intimate communication with angels. So, um, so yeah, no wonder you're deeply interested in angels. You're, you're, they're talking to you all the time on a soul level. I hope that answers your question. That's all. That's all I've got for you. Imagine with me. Um, um, they're very happy that you're paying attention, and they're they're clapping their hands and going, "Yeah," because finally you get it. <laughs> um, they're always there. They're always available. Well, and this is true for all of us. They're always there. They're always available to help us. But you have a really special, specific kind of awareness that the rest of us might not or might have to work really hard for a long time to develop. Um, I hope that helps. Imagine with me. That's all I got. Quick question. How are you ladies doing for time? Because I, I mean, I, 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 I slowed everybody down because we still have a few questions. I'm okay with sticking around until yeah, we're me done. Too. Me I'm too. Good. All right, thank you. So now, okay. So you just answered this one. And Lady Silver, okay. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how uh, we can answer this one. Circuit breaker, just mm -hmm. like no. Is that a message from my guide? I'm with money problems in my bills. If Hi, Carl. Um, let me see what type of information I can get about this. So a circuit breaker to your apartment should not be your responsibility. Yeah. That falls on the landlord and he needs to have someone come in to look at what needs to be tightened. Quite often it's just a matter of the wires come loose. They heat up and they you know, condense when the circuit isn't being in use and then they um, heat up and expand again and then condense. And sometimes that makes the little screw that is part of the connection work its way loose. And so sometimes it's just a matter of tightening them up. Doing it yourself, I don't advise that. It's, 
it's something that should be done by an electrician. And perhaps it's just a matter of your guys letting you know you need to tell the landlord that he needs to live up to his end of this. You don't own, you pay rent. But then I don't know, you know, where you live, if you're in Canada or if you're somewhere else other than USA. But if you're renting, that's the responsibility yeah, he's saying, I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, just that that's the responsibility of the landlord. As yes. for, you know, and so for entertainment purposes only, sure. I would reach out to him and say, hey, this is continuing to happen. So right. something needs to be addressed, even just shutting off the main switch and tightening those screws. But it should be done by an electrician so you don't get into trouble with him because... You took it upon yourself to do it. Um, I think he's saying that it just kind of like goes on and off. Um, he's not, I think he's, I think he's in Canada. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, he's saying that it goes on and off. I don't know if he's, he's wondering that, he's, he's wondering if that's a message from his guides. So uh, the next, the one question I have for him, does he have to go and manually turn it back on? So if you have to manually another, there's the message from your guides. <laughs> but if you have to turn it back on manually, then the message is there's something else wrong. It's not, it's not your responsibility. If it were a message from your guides, that circuit breaker would probably not flip. It would be like what we just saw on the screen. The circles pop up, you know, the break in the in the delivery system. But it's a permanent break because the switch flips and you have to go down and turn it back on. So you should reach out to the landlord about that. I hope that helps, Carl. Uh, Carl, if the landlord doesn't respond, you can go to, if you're in Canada, okay, because I see you said you're outside the U.S. If you're in Canada, you can go to the local, your provincial uh, tenants um, branch. I don't know. It's called uh, RTB in Ontario, and it's called the uh, LTB, or LTB in Ontario and RTB in B.C., uh, residential tenancy branch or landlord tenants branch and ask them what you should do because that's an electrical problem that requires addressing. It might mean problems. It, it could lead to a fire. Exactly. Um, and, and, uh, and uh, um, I, I get exactly the same thing as Diana does. It's not a message from your guides at all because the guides, the guides and angels, they'll never do something that is, um, um, they just want to get your attention. Okay. So they'll flick the lights on and off, or you'll hear, you'll hear something. Um, uh, you'll hear something. Uh, you'll hear your name called or you'll, you'll, they'll do stuff like they'll, tr they'll flicker your television. It's if they're doing something that means that you have to get up and, and, and like a permanent sort of disconnect, like Diana said, yeah, no, that's not, that's not guides. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where is he? Is he? All right. Thank you, Diana. Um, I didn't think that there was. Let's see. Okay. Now I have a question from Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Uh, did I have a past life where I spoke French? I want to learn it now.
They're showing me some um, um, like a um, cloth with um, traditional French style print. It's like a cream cloth with navy, like blue or type of uh, print. And I'm trying to remember the name. There's a, a specific style. It's like the um, French, it starts with T. Um, there's a specific name for that style. And I should remember. Um, for that, for sure, it, it tells me yes, because that's French. A fleur de lis? No, it's the scenery, like the pasture see, uh, scenery. Starts with T. Uh, T O, I believe. Um, it's usually like um, the, the scenery we see. Oh my God. I study French, just to, to remember this. Plow? No, 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 that's. Tour? Tour. French toile, something like that. It's this toile. Oh, oh, oh toile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Fabric. O i l l e. Toile. Yeah, and that's um, that's typical. So that indicates yes. So that's uh, it's from France. Let's see what else I get, Lisa. And I love French, and I should remember that because that because <laughs> that's what I study. And now they're showing me a scenery that will be like the French Riviera, like very pretty um, outside. Now they're sh showing me like oranges and some of the French countryside, like landscape. And now they show me the French flag. So yes, <laughs> I'm going on because I'm enjoying the view. So. Thank you, Lisa, for your question. Uh, so let's see if she's here. All right. That was good. Oh, sorry, we got this one. I was just trying to uh, unstar that one because uh, we did answer that. So let me see. Now is Linda. Let's see what I have. Uh, Linda, this one for you, please, uh, from Addie. Hi, Addie. Addie wants to know what message the masters have for you. They see and they, they want they want to acknowledge the work that you've been doing and they want they want you to know the immense love and respect they have for you. Keep walking. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep up. Uh, keep your spirits up. Keep searching for keep searching for joy. Follow your heart. You are doing really well. They love to see they love to see the work that you're doing. They love to see the progress that you're making and and they just want to see more of it. Not not because um, 
not not in like a, a creepy sort of, you know, okay, you've done this, now you do more. It It's like, look what you've accomplished. This is amazing. This is astounding. This is really, really good. And, and, and don't stop now. It's very encouraging. Um, they, isn't this interesting? They want you to know, they want you to know that they're available to you. So if you have not already made contact with the masters directly, which you may have given what they're telling me. Uh, may I suggest you register for Val Dragonfly Crystals um, uh, class on the 11th of May. Um, because they're saying very clearly that they're available to you. I don't hear that very often. Uh, it's not that they're not available to anybody who wants to connect with them. They are absolutely 100%, but I've never, I, I rarely hear them say, come on, connect. So Addy, keep working, keep, keep, keep it up. Don't stop now. Whatever it is you're doing, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right stuff. I think it's great. Good yeah, that's a good message. Yeah. Thank you, Addie, for being here. Thank uh, you, Jackie. Yeah. She posted uh, Val's, um, Val's channel, Dragonfly Crystal's channel. Um, Thank you, Jackie. And for anyone interested in taking Val's class, May 11th, I believe it's the next one for uh, the Akasha Records readings. Yeah. So, it's only like uh, a three-hour class. Yes, and yeah. uh, very okay. affordable. So yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jackie. Uh, now we have one more question. Or before, let's see. Uh, for for Diana, question for Mary from Mary Thornberry. Hi, Mary. How are you? I am seeing a South American uh, woman shaman. Hmm. Nice. She is taking a wooden spoon and holding it to her lips. <laughs> is that time to eat? <laughs> No, she's saying <laughs> there's such a sense of humor. Put the lime in the coconut and mix it all up. So there's something that you're supposed to be um, concocting. Uh, something in the cauldron. Something new is coming your way. You have the ingredients. It's time to prepare. It, it was well, time to prepare in order to be able to go forward. You have a project that you want to begin. Lay the canvas out, whatever it is. She's specifically showing me a, a wooden spoon and her pursed lips, like tasting it. And, and then put the lime in the coconut. So everybody's got a sense of humor today. Must be the the um, eclipse hangover, <laughs> and that's the end of the transmission. So I hope that has helped you somehow. I can't hear you. I'm yeah. sorry, I just said that would be like a nice drink mixture, like, you know, the lime and the coconut. I don't know. Well, right, say. exactly. You know, sounds like you a... need the citrus, so you mm -hmm. need the vitamin C, and the coconut sweetens the, sweetens the load. And it's very nutritious. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
coconut's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> so this was the last question. Um, okay, I think I asked for uh, Dakota to repost her question, but she, oh, hi, Warrior Girl, just got here. Um, and and uh, Tarot Stash just got here too. Yes, hi, Gerald. Oh, hi, Gerald. So um, I guess- Yeah, with Rakila. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Annie Bear, you're right. <laughs> you are 100% correct. <laughs> There's Gerald. Oh, and Annie Bear is here too. Okay. Hi, Annie Bear. Yes. Um, so Delphi. this is fun. Delphi. Well, and and so Mary, what does coconut mean to you? What does lime mean mm -hmm. to you? So look at it that way too. Delphi's here too. Hi, Delphi. Mm -hmm. Thanks, um, Warrior Girl. So we're, it's time for our, our uh, healing and clearing. Is that it for the questions? Yes, that was. Uh, um, I was a little uh, slow going through the through them, searching for more. So I'm sorry about that. No, no, it hey, was, that's okay. a little over. And um, yes, so, so we're going to do the healing and the clearing now. Yes. So should I? Should I do it, or any, any of you would like to do the healing? How is that? It doesn't matter to me. Diane? I can. Yeah. I, I like that. I knew you would want me to, but yeah. I'm well, because you are yours always give me like the big chills on the show. I enjoy it too. So oh, okay. <laughs> thank All you. Right. Thank you, Diana. All right. So get as sit as comfortably as you can. And we're gonna take three deep breaths, hold them at the top, exhale, and give it a little extra push with your mouth open. Inhale, hold, exhale, inhale, hold, exhale, once again, exhale, Please place us in a steady stream of divine white light, the white light of divine guidance and grace. Mikhail, wrap your blue bubble of protection around us that shrinks to fit as we step into the healing teal green orb of Raphael that floats and shares and spreads and transfers the divine white light the white light of divine guidance and grace so mote it be blessings to all thank you you're welcome thank you diana and i'm going to close the records um, I would like to close by thanking the light for the truth. I would like to close by thanking the light for the healing energy. And I would like to close by thanking the light for the guidance and compassion towards our soul's purpose. And with these, we lock the record of this group, including the animals and those watching the replay. The records are now closed. Um, Linda, what do you have coming up? Sorry, me? Yes. Uh, what do you have coming up? Thursday, I have a live. The time has changed. I put up a community post for that. The time is going to be at 2 o'clock instead of 3 o'clock. So uh, please be aware. Um, Thursday's live, it'll be at 2 o'clock Pacific time, 5 o'clock Eastern time. Um, and as soon as I hit 250 subscribers, and <clears throat> I'm at... 200 and just let me just check i'm at 212 right now as soon as i hit 250 i'm going to um have a, a giveaway um oh you know with that wonderful tool that Streamyard has it just yeah i love that i mean it's so anyway yes i'm going to give away a free one hour akashic records reading 
Wonderful. Okay. And Diana, what do you have coming up? Uh, at nine o'clock tonight, dreams, visions, and apparitions with mm -hmm. Allie from Heart and Soul Connected. Mm -hmm. And Terry Holding Your Space will be there. And Callie Healer will be there. And then on Monday and, and the subsequent Mondays throughout the month of April, mm -hmm. Valerie Illumination Portal and I will be doing a healing from the eclipse. Not that we need a healing. It was a beautiful eclipse. But mm -hmm. we just want to keep the energy flowing and open because it was such a great experience for most everyone and those who were in the chat last night. So we're, we're going to do that except for one week because the Monday is the 22nd and the full moon is the 23rd. So we will incorporate both of those things on the 23rd. That's lovely. I like that idea. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And um, I've, well, Friday, I, I haven't, I don't have a post about it yet, but I'm planning on being with Amy Wire Princess on her channel, and it's supposed to be at 5 p.m. Eastern, um, waiting for her uh, reply with the thumbnail and the community post, uh, so I can have that updated and uh, check my community poll uh, community page soon because I'll have a post about uh, the time uh, for the drawing of the free ring and um, most likely will be on Saturday so in a, uh, people have enough notice to, uh, to show up because you have to be in the chat for uh, for the drawing and thank you again I have um, I my goal was to have 200 subscribers to to be able to, to do that drawing i gave one reading away um when i had a hundred and karen doyle was the the winner and that went really really went really well and yeah thank you so much for all the subscribers and please do subscribe to all the channels like and leave a comment if you can after the the streaming because it does help it does help us and we're we're very um grateful for for that and uh, there's information about um the channels um after i'm sorry in the des description of the video i'm really slow now <laughs> sorry um i do have yeah and again the class that um val from dragonfly crystals offers next class is May 11th for anyone who's interested in learning how to read the Akash records and is about $39 is very affordable. If you're a member of her channel, uh, the classes are free. So check it out. And I, we all took the class and we all enjoyed it and uh, it's, it's way worth it. So um, thank you all for being here again. And uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you all and I'll see you all uh, next uh Next Tuesday, I'll be hosting. So, yes, yes. yes. Uh, and I see Courtney just got here. Hi, Courtney. Thank you for for coming. And uh, yes, we're just ending, but um, I'll see you all next week. Thank you all for being here again. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everybody. Peace out.